cracking some hot ones. Now the only one I'm not going to crack is this one right here. 73 Ford Grand Torino. Only because I also have the Flying Custom 73 Ford Grand Torino. And I kind of uh, like having them both and I like the kind of difference in cards there. Flying Customs I think are on their way out if they haven't already. If you guys have checked out the... Uh, the last case of these that's supposed to come out. Not sure exactly what's going to be in that assortment, but uh, it's looking pretty awesome. And we won't see the Flying Customs anymore, and I can't remember our Hot Ones done as well. Anyway, I kind of like to have the same model um, represented from the two different series that we may never see again, so I'm going to keep those two in the card. For now, I'm going to set those over here, and we're going to start with the 84 Pontiac Grand Prix Hot Ones are um, were a pretty cool series uh, metal on metal obviously but they were the old plastic tires and some people thought they weren't as collectible but uh, I kinda think they're cool, they're very unique. Some of the castings were a little less desirable than others. I'll do another close-up of all the cars when we get them together. Here is the 442 Much. I have no idea what they call it, the 442 Much. I have no idea. I believe it was called something different before. Race Grooves has a video where he talks about it. Uh, but I love this car. Very cool car. Now, there's an old 442 off-road coming out in the new Flying Customs that I will have to have, so I will definitely be doing a video on that. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's just a cool shape up to, a, to the car. It's all chrome. I love how they just kept the wheels chrome, got the pipes on the side. Just kind of a mean, futuristic looking... Futuristic for, like, 1988. But, uh... That's cool. And the design is really kind of retro, retro crazy. He's got some tampos on the side, but uh, here's your bottom, 1970 and 2011. Tell me what the much means, because uh, I don't know. That one rolls really nice. How about we do the sidekick? This one's kind of weird, but I picked it up anyway. thought it could go with my Flames collection. And if you haven't figured out, and you kind of look at this and you go, "How come this didn't come out?" Well, you have to, you have to pull it from the back. See how that goes? And then you got your little sidekick here on the side. Now imagine this going about 120 miles an hour, and then this pops out. You get a little wind in your hair. Anyway, that's a cool looking model when you get it out of the package. Pretty cool, cool idea. You know, not my favorite model ever, but still pretty funky, pretty funky piece. A little suspension to it, too. Alright, uh, Nomad, this is definitely going in my Flames collection. They call it the Alive 55. I'm going to stick with Nomad, but it's, it's awesome. I didn't really show you the back of these cards, but I don't know. It's not really worth showing you, I don't guess. Here's, uh... The Nomad. It's got kind of the orange tinted windows, which don't bother me too much. There's that. Nice, uh, classic sort of black wall tires. The back is bigger than the front, but I love the gray, black and red accented with the yellow right here. That's just uh, really nice for the, for the Nomad or the Alive 55. No opening hood or anything. Just a little hole there. So not a whole lot of detail, but they are big chunky metal pieces. There's your bottom there, 1969. So this was an old, old casting back in the day, but it's nice and, nice and thick. All right, now before I get to the next two, I'll just show you this other one. I don't remember if I showed this or not, but this is another hot ones that I've opened already. The '56 Chevy, which is a very nice casting and a very nice color. Don't really care for the yellow. Uh, don't really want to say what that looks like, but they're sort of. Uh, Yellow colored windshield. Not a big fan of that, but still a really nice, really nice casting. 
So that's going to go nice with the Nomad there. Now, long gone. Boy, they did it right on this one, didn't they? I've been debating on whether or not to crack this, but you know what? It's got to happen. So we're getting it out right now. This is my first big rig of the of the new collection here. Nice chrome, straight up black walls with the chromes here. Really nice. Love this chrome detail right down here. It goes into plastic, which is okay, I guess. But I won't complain. But really nice deco here. It's decorative without being too busy. Hot Wheels logo. Um, I do wish this was uh, metal as well. The front here. Let's see if I can get that up there. Well, I guess I need to get me a macro. There we go. That's a little better. I do wish this was metal. You know, to, to go along with the chrome here on the headlights in the front bumper. It would just look better. But can't have everything you want. But uh, still, nice heavy casting. Could probably fit a trailer in there if you wanted to. And let's look at the base. There's your long gone. That is awesome. I'll get a close up of that shortly. That's fun to have out of the package. You gotta have one out of the package. Now, here is probably the best Hot Ones release of them all. This is just my opinion. You might argue this one is, and I'm, you know, you have an argument there. Because that is awesome, the long gone there. By the way, you guys seen the Kenworth that's coming out? Smoking the Bandit Kenworth. It's coming out in the next Retro Entertainment. That one looks pretty bad. I don't know. I like my long gone, though. Anyway, this uh, Backwoods Bomb. This has got to be, for my money, the best hot ones they released. I have a couple of these, so I don't mind opening this one. Now, this has been shown a million times. Race Grooves uh, compared this Backwoods Bomb with the original Backwoods Bomb. But I have to say, I like the new release better. The design's better. I just like it. Look at that. I think Master Loafer showed a couple of these as well, but I'm sure many people have looked at them. They're not new. They've been around a while, but um, with the Flying Customs going out, and I think, I don't know, the Hot Ones, I think, is still around or no, maybe not. I think you can still get a case or two off HotWheelsCollectors.com. But uh, that's just a super unique casting, and I think it's the same casting as the tow truck. But, you know, just a cool green, foresty green with some other shades of green in there, along with the, uh, the camper. Just makes you want to get in it and drive up in the mountains and be gone for a few weeks. Take a look at the base real quick. And that pretty much does it for this one. So there's your Backwoods Bomb. That's my probably that's my favorite Hot Ones of the whole bunch with the Long Gone a close second. So let me know what's your favorite Hot Ones or if you're glad they're out of here or if you wish they would keep them around or what do you guys think. Anyway I'll do a close-up of everything so you can see it and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.